Elliott Waves is one of the best theories for day trading, but as with any theory, it comes with rules, and these rules you have to follow. And in particular, there are three rules that you must never at any cost break. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Enough talking now, let's get into the video. Guys, this is rule number one, okay? And you've probably heard me say this numerous times, but this has to be followed. Okay, wave four, which is right here. Now this is the rule. Wave four cannot come down to the price territory of wave one. If it goes down to this, it's not a way for, and you're gonna have to reevaluate your count of an impulse. <laughs> it can't go past this wave one territory. That is a no no. Rule number two, and coincidentally, it involves wave two. <laughs> okay, wave two, which is right here, this wave two cannot retrace wave one by 100%, which means it cannot come all the way down to this level. If it comes down to this level and this is a wave two, it can't be. Wave two either does 50, 61 or 78%, or it can even go higher, but the rule is it cannot go past where wave one starts, okay? Now, rule number three, and like last time, it involves wave three. Okay, wave three is usually the longest, right? As you've seen from my previous video. But the rule is wave three can never be the shortest. This, this wave, okay? It can never be the shortest, okay? Wave five could be the longest, but wave three can't be the shortest. Let me, let me show you the example, okay? Wave five, look at this example. One, this is three and this is five. Five is clearly the longest, okay? That's fine. As long as three, this one, as long as three is not the shortest. So this is correct. Guys, this is all well and good, you know, drawing it on an iPad and all of that. That's really idealized. But now let's actually put it to like real world use and um, look at some real graphs. <laughs> Finally! Okay, let's look at this on a real graph okay so here i've got my impulse nate labeled one two three four and five now rule one here's wave four okay if wave four had come all the way down here you see this this is where wave one has ended if wave four has come and crosses let me just show you exactly where wave one has ended this yellow line is where wave one that's like the price territory of wave one, okay? If this wave four has retraced all the way down past this, it's not a wave four and you have to recount. That's one rule you can't break. Okay, second rule you can't break. Guys, just quickly, if you guys are confused right now or don't really know what's happening, then I suggest you check out my first video where I overview Elliott waves. I think that'll be really useful. And then you can come back to this video. Wave two cannot retrace wave one by more than 100%, okay? So if we just delete this and that's the start of wave one. Wave two cannot retrace more than 100%, okay? It can retrace around here, around there, that's fine, okay? It cannot retrace 100%. And if you wanna look at these values, you just use your Fib retracement tool. Start from wave one go to the end of wave one and there you can see it okay this black line where wave where that yellow thing is just here okay wave one there this thing right here that's 100 percent of wave one as you can see here 100 percent okay wave two cannot go past that that's another rule you can't break Finally, wave three cannot be the shortest. So right now it's the longest, which in most cases it is, but it cannot be the shortest. You can't have a wave one like this, a wave two there, wave three, wave four, and a wave five. 
okay? If this is your impulse pattern, let's just move it here for a sec. If this is your impulse, one, two, three, four, five, that is wrong because three is the shortest wave in this case. And that's a rule you cannot break, okay? So wave five could be the longest, okay? But then wave one has to be shorter than wave three. Like so. Okay, five is clearly the longest, then it's three, and then it's one, okay? This is fine. Thanks for watching the video and hopefully you guys got something out of it. Now you know the three main rules you cannot break when doing Elliot waves. See you next time.